One of the things that gives Coho's work its vibrancy is the fact that she calls it clearing her mind, but it also is, is delving into the emotional part of yourself without the intellectual part. So I think that that's what gives her paintings that, that immediacy and that expressive quality. My name is Jaya Duburi. Um, I've been a student of Sensei um, since 2008. My name is Eva Majevic, and I began studying with Coho in the 1980s. Sumie, the simple, I, I was very attracted to the simplicity of it. And then when I returned back to New York, I looked for, I searched for a teacher. And at that time, Sensei had a studio at McDougal, on McDougal Street. And uh, so one day I walked in and, you know, that's how this, we started the classes. In, in Coho's class, you learn uh, the traditional Sumie techniques uh, and you start with bamboo and you struggle with bamboo because it's the simplest and the hardest. And uh, one of the things that's amazing about traditional painting is that those stalks of bamboo are done with single brush strokes. And there's a technique called no tang, which where you charge the brush uh, with ink and then dilute some of it so that you get these variations in the brush stroke. And the no tang is, at, is actually a very desirable quality in, in a brush painting. And I think that that is the essence of, of Coho's work. Uh, the, the darkness is the strength, that's the, um, the, the pure ink. And then the gray areas are the variations that have been diluted by water. And that gives you that kind of emotional vibrancy and sensitivity that um, you don't necessarily get with, let's say, traditional uh, watercolor and, and oil painting. Sensei says that uh, her paintings come from nothingness. So she says she empties her mind and she let it flow. My experience with that, uh, watching Sensei make her paintings, um, it seems to me that the first stroke is, uh, it comes out from emptiness, but uh, uh, after that it seems to me that she com composes around it, you know. Um, so you can see if you watch uh, her paint her, paint, you can see that she's deliberating what's the next thing, what's the next stroke sometimes. And it depends and some paintings are, I guess she just let it go and sees how, uh, I guess her experience just takes it, she goes along, along with it, yeah. I find her abstractions very beautiful. Um, they are you know, there's a lot of play between light and dark, uh, which is, and some of her small work is just exquisite. No, this is Sensei. Um, you know, again, I think the, the real the typical essence of her is this dark uh, drama uh, with the brush strokes and, and the flowiness. So even though when she does representational work, it does have that kind of uh, very expressive, emotionally expressive quality to it. You know, she's a great post-war abstract painter. But I, I guess what she would be probably really be known for is her, you know, this black and uh, this uh, light and shadow, the play of light and shadow, which is just beautiful.